Welcome to Chapter 6, Chemical Equilibrium, Le Chatelier's Principle. State the Le Chatelier's Principle. If a system at equilibrium is disturbed by a change in concentration, pressure or temperature, the system will shift its equilibrium position as to counter effect the disturbance. For example, if there is a stress put on the balance, then the other one, in order to reduce and re-establish the equilibrium, action has to be taken. Okay, so we shall proceed with apply the Le Chatelier's principle to explain the effect of the following factors on a system at equilibrium. The first one is the concentration of a reacting species. Before we proceed to the Chatelier's principle with the factor of concentration, I would like to highlight again what is the meaning of reversible reaction. Okay, so when nitrogen reacts with hydrogen, the concentration of reactants will decrease. At the same time, more ammonia means the product will be produced. So the concentration of ammonia will increase. So when reactant reacts, concentration of reactant reduce, concentration of product increase. So it is a forward reaction, meaning like this forward reaction. Now, now reactant reacts and then go forward to produce product. Okay. However, when this is a reversible reaction, so means forward and backward reaction is occurring at the simultaneously or occurring at the same time. So when ammonia decomposes or break down into simpler compounds, the concentration of product will decrease. At the same time, more hydrogen and nitrogen will be produced. Thus, the concentration of hydrogen and nitrogen increase. Therefore, when product decomposes, reactant increase, product decrease. So it means this time it favors a reversible reaction. Haber process, an industrial process of producing ammonia from nitrogen and hydrogen using iron as catalyst at high temperature and pressure. So this process is a Haber process. Now let's move on to concentration. Okay, According to Le Chatelier's principle, if a substance is added to a system at equilibrium, the system will react to consume some of the substance. Okay, What does it mean? It means that, okay, let's look at the disturbance given. Adding a reactant, adding a reactant, nitrogen or hydrogen. Okay, so what is needed to be done in order to counter effect the disturbance of hydrogen or nitrogen, which is increasing because we add in reactant. So our duty now is how to make it balanced. For example, now this balance is no longer in equilibrium. So how do we make it equilibrium again? Okay, so what is needed to be done? Okay, I will use a method. Okay, for example, I will put this line as at equilibrium. Okay, then what has in okay if it says that adding a reactant means that the concentration increase okay so i put the arrow up okay so next one so what do you need to get back to equilibrium to this position so you need to go back go down again make a u turn so when you make a u turn okay so this is decreasing Okay, so when decreasing, okay, I use going down as decreasing. So decreasing means that now I have to decrease hydrogen and nitrogen. So which side has no hydrogen and nitrogen? That is the product. Thus, according to Le Chatelier's principle, the equilibrium position will shift to the right as to reduce the concentration of hydrogen and nitrogen. 
Okay, then for you, see, you can see when I use the arrow, reduce. Okay, going down represent reduce. Okay, therefore the other what happened at equilibrium is ammonia will increase, hydrogen and nitrogen will decrease. Okay, now we look at another example. If you add product, okay, so what you need to do in order to counter the effect. Okay, so same thing again, I will start with, okay, for example, this is equilibrium. So I have added a product. Okay, my product is ammonia. So what do I need to go back to equilibrium? I need to go down. Go down means reduce ammonia. Okay, if I want to reduce ammonia, which side has no ammonia? It is on the left. So according to the Chatelier's principle, the equilibrium position will shift to the left so as to reduce the concentration of ammonia. Thus, Reactant increase, product decrease. Okay, now another one is removing or reducing. Okay, so how shall we do this? Again, same thing. Okay, I will still use the equilibrium. Okay, so next one, removing. Okay, if removing, what I will do is going down. Okay, going down. So going down means I have reduced hydrogen or nitrogen. Okay, so in order to get back to equilibrium, what I need to do is to go up. To go up means increase hydrogen or nitrogen. Okay, going up. So you can see here. Okay, so... Where is the place that has more hydrogen and nitrogen? It is on the left. So you can see, according to Chatelier's principle, the equilibrium position will shift to the left so as to increase the concentration of hydrogen and nitrogen because hydrogen and nitrogen has decreased. Okay. So as at equilibrium, ammonia increase, hydrogen and nitrogen decrease. Okay, same thing again, we go back, I will use the equilibrium. Okay, removing or reducing a product. Okay, reducing, okay, I will put here, reducing, going down. Okay, so we have reduce ammonia. Okay, so to get back to equilibrium, my action is to go up. So means that I need to increase ammonia. Okay, how do I increase ammonia? Okay, shift to the right. Okay, because on the right hand side, I have ammonia. Okay, so as to increase the concentration of ammonia. Okay, so this is a chart, okay, a table that I have summarized what happened when the disturbance in increase for reactant product or decrease for reactant and product. Okay, now let us try one example. Using Le Chatelier's principle, explain how adding hydrochloric acid would affect the equilibrium and give the observation. Okay, when we refer to the reversible reaction, reaction equation, you can see that there's a white color and a colorless color means that SbCl3 is colorless, SbOCl is white in color. Okay, so what happened is, what is the disturbance? Let's look at what is the disturbance. The disturbance is adding hydrochloric acid. Okay, same thing again. I would put again the arrow, equilibrium. Okay, adding hydrochloric acid means that the arrow goes up so what do i need in order to get back equilibrium 
I need to go down. Go down means reduce HCL. Okay, so when I want to reduce HCL, okay, so which side has no HCL? It is on the left hand side has no HCL. Okay, because I want to reduce the HCL. Thus, when we answer the question according to Lee Chatelier's, remember the prosopy S principle. When HCL is added, the equilibrium position will shift to the left. Okay, why do we shift to the left? Because we want to reduce the concentration of HCL. Okay, so what happened is at equilibrium, when we shift to the left, more SBCL3 is formed. So the observation is because more SBCL3 is formed, so the white, white solution turns to colorless. Okay, why do we know it is white color first, not, col not colorless first? Because we have said that adding HCL. Okay, adding HCL means this part we have more. That's why initially it is white solution in color then at equilibrium okay because we want to counter effect the disturbance so when it has shift to the left so we get colorless solution okay so again just want to highlight again how to use this concentration for equilibrium okay if we say at I will put the arrow going up. So in order to counter effect, in order to get back to equilibrium, I need to reduce it. Okay, same thing. If let's say another disturbance is reduce, okay, so reduce, I will go below the equilibrium line, reduce. So in order to get back to equilibrium I need to add no matter it is concentration of product or reactant so you have to look at what are you adding what is the disturbance of added is it reactant or product or is it product or reactant for reduce you can always go back to this chart again to help you to understand the change in concentration, the effect, and then how to, according to Le Chatelier's principle. Okay, you can always use this to help you, okay, to figure out where does it go to and are you going, what is your counteract action? Is it to reduce or is it to add? Okay, for example, in this part. Okay, so that's all for this lesson now. Thank <laughs> you.